Hey guys, it's Girl Got Game. Welcome to another Gander episode. Today I am checking out the demo for a game called Spiral by Folklore Games. They're in the middle of their Kickstarter right now actually. It's going on until April 22nd. And the story for Spiral is it's a third person narratively driven exploration game sharing a poetic vision of cognitive degeneration seen from the inside. It tells the story of Bernard, a man who wishes goodbye one last time to the memories that built him from his early childhood to who he is today. So I saw this uh, flying around on Kickstarter and it looked really pretty and I was intrigued by the story for it and thought, you know what? I want to take a look at this and see what it's all about. So let's jump in and see what we're getting into. My immersion. While we are committed to the experience we are creating for Spiral, we are aware that the natural pace of an older man may not be for everyone. In order to allow as many of you to enjoy your time with Bernard, we added the option to control Bernard with the celerity of a younger version of himself. Hmm. Um, I want to try the original experience. If it's a problem, I'll change it later. Let's, uh, let's see. My immersion. <laughs> I remember this place. But it isn't how I remember it. <laughs> it's, it's better. With everything here. I can remember. I will remember. Press E to stand up. Okay. Pick up his cane. I see. Come on, Bernard. We got this. All right. He walks a little more steady with his cane. Explore the cabin. Okay. Man, this is so pretty. It moves really smoothly, too. Sometimes it's like you never left us. <laughs> Hi, doggo. Ellie. A little hard to turn it around. We have a journal. Okay. Oh, Elfie. Sorry, not Ellie. Elfie. The Penfield Pooch. Jumpy, rambunctious, and always getting herself into trouble just like Bernard, sometimes even together. Aw, that's so cute. Um. Bernard. A soft-spoken, nostalgic gentleman looking to remember everything once again. The remnants of his past sometimes give him great joy, and others encapsulate great pain. But he understands that if he is to unlock the keys to his past, no door must go unopened. Okay. So we have for Bernard and Elfie. Super cute. Um. Ooh. Interesting. So R doesn't go back. Q works, but... Okay. Sorry, I'm just mucking around with controls, trying to figure out everything. Any food in the fridge? Oh, no, darling. You go ahead and play in the puddles. Adults don't really do that. Why not? Well, um, I don't know. It's just silly, I guess. What's wrong with being silly? <laughs> well, that's a good question. That is a good question. Monique. Bernard's kind, caring mother usually catches him when he gets himself in trouble, but has a softness for him. She is currently what locals consider to be the green thumb champion and uses her unique gardening abilities to brighten others' days. Aw. From Emily. Okay. I gotta do some dishes. Mom's favorite. Bernard, did you take the cookies out of the oven? 
there were cookies <laughs> in the oven? Oh, no. Sophie's kids ate them anyway. More out of kindness than anything. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I forgot they were even there. Sophie. Bernard's sister and fellow explorer usually gets in trouble, even though it was Bernard's <laughs> doing. Currently dreams about roaming the world one day, but for now gets lost in her fantasy books. What else we got? I actually like that we move at this pace because I would move stuff. I, I would miss stuff otherwise. I was playing catch with Elfie over by that hill and, and she ran off. Bernard, look at me. It's okay, I promise. The park has a large fence around it, so she can't be too far. But we better find her quickly because it's about to storm. Mom could always save the day. I wish I told her that back then. It's a nice painting or portrait or something. No music for us today, I guess. Bernard. Hello, old friend. It's been a while, hasn't it? I was so happy to get your letter and even happier to know that you are doing well, even for a bag of bones like you. I'll tell you what, why don't we get together again for old time's sake? We could play that role-playing game like when we were kids with Jamie and Danny. Think about it and write me again. Don't take too long, though. I miss you, friend. Be well. Bernard, you're a role-player? Amazing. She's so mean. I thought what you did was so brave and you made me laugh. I'm Emily, by the way. Emily? The closest and oldest of Bernard's friends formed a special creative bond with Bernard in primary school and the two have been inseparable since. Cute. All right, anything over here? For tradition? For tradition! Oh. And whoever could crush their can the most would get to roll the dice first. <laughs> Danny always surprised us and usually won. Nice. What a great way to learn how to to determine who rolls the dice. Oh, so close. Uh, not quite. Maybe if I go around I can get a hold of that chair. Chair. There we go. My first time building something with Dad. Never could make anything as good as him. Robert. Bernard's fa father and biggest confidant, he is full of as much wisdom as he is silly jokes, and his family would have it no other way. He had a career as a fisherman, but turned it down to be closer to home and take care of his family. Man, he loved fishing. My goodness. I miss this. Wonder if I still got it in me. <laughs> Aw, you got your wooden sword. So, man, this guy is awesome. Sophie never could go to every country. Not enough time. But if there was, well, I'd never see her. She'd be halfway around the world all the time. <laughs> Just have a candle in the bathroom? I never knew where I was going to find this. Sophie was leaving it all over the place, even outside. <laughs> Poor thing. Aw. Poor doll. Getting forgotten like that. I used to have a doll like I, that I did that with, too. <laughs> we got two globes. So it updated to that, eh? Okay. It is kind of... Oh, I see. Things are spinning outside. Also, we're getting some screen tearing. Hold on a second. Uh, maybe... <laughs> there we go. Let's try that. 
I think I fixed it for right now. That wasn't there before. That was on the fridge. Okay. So that's moved. Stationary. Tyler's maybe? I don't remember going to any of these places. Hmm. A tradition when we played. The crushed cans. Jamie always won. Hmm. It's not what he said a second ago. Interesting. Oh, that's, that is disorienting. So things have moved, because the cans were there. Hey lad, glad you could make it. I need some help building something, come on over. Maybe next time? Huh? I don't remember not helping oh, my dad. Oh boy. Ever. Uh, well, things are, oh, there, there's mom's plant. What were mom's favorite flowers again? Got to remember to refill that for Elfie when she gets back. I'm trying to clean up. Yes, I was trying to clean up. Oh, work harder, Bernard. Come on. Aw, poor Bernard. What's upstairs? I haven't even gone upstairs to explore yet, and things are already moving around. My first time meeting Emily. Hmm. But who was being mean? Uh, a whole bunch of names. Fishing for Truffles, Light of the Way, Max's Crazy Adventure, A History of Locomotives, Best Catch, Duck Pin Pudgy, Love is in the Hair. Okay. Is that like a library list or something? Just like old times, huh? Just... Just like old times. I, I don't recognize this. What memory is this? Looks like a fishing tackle box. Let's see now. The dragon cape was over here. And the dungeon was over here. Jamie was always landing in either of the two. <laughs> oh, I always thought Emily was good at drawing. Uh, this, uh, well, this must have been one of the duds when she was first starting. Funny. I thought when we met, she was really good. <laughs> Why would I have this? D and D. Tyler. Huh. Oh, man. Majorly into role playing in D and D. Poor Bernard. I need to catch that. Oh, I need to. Oh, Effie, where are you? Hmm. Did you name like your one of your children after your dog? No. I got questions. Oh, there's there's cracks in the wall and things. That's not good. That's not what you want to see. It's a very nice drawing. Bernard. I think you've sharpened your pencil enough today. Don't you think? Sit down. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ms. Lance. It won't happen again. But it did, didn't it? I mean, sharpening your pencil is fun. <laughs> Ooh. Miss Lentz. Bernard, no-nonsense primary school teacher. One year away from retirement, and it couldn't come soon enough. We don't really remember her very well. Bernie, they call me. Just Bernie. Hmm. Do I want to be clicking on that? Hold on. Hold on. 
Bernard, I just need to explore a little bit more. That seemed important. Well, there's a couple of things that are... I'm kind of zooming. Whoops. Alright. Since there's a whole bunch of stuff that's got glowy things, I'll click on... Oh, boy. Oh, it's dark. Oh, no. Oh, that's scary. What happened now? Are you just telling me about that thing again? Oh. We're young now. Sprightly boy with a knack for adventure and always getting into trouble. A voracious reader, even at a young age. He desires to tell stories one day, just like his dad. Did any of the... Oh, dear. Monique. Yeah, our mom. Aw, that's so sad. <laughs> We've lost it so much so quickly. So this is, like, important memories. Buttons are not correct anymore. Where did this note come from? Who was writing to me? These are... my children? Hmm. My favorite book. Oh. Didn't even get to read it. Oh, it's so dark. I guess that's why we have uh, candles and things around. <laughs> Okay, that's the same. Can we even see over here? Oh, that's gone. Hmm. I wonder what that's supposed to be. That's odd. Dad always made the best cookies. He never burned them. I don't remember this at all. Okay, and that doesn't mean anything anymore, apparently. There's nothing else over here. There's this. I suppose I used to play this. Hmm. Man, it's so creepy with it being dark. I guess I'm going down. Oh boy. Where did I find this? So disorienting with things just... Flowers. Disappearing. <laughs> Flowers for who? Who is the person in this drawing? Hmm. Wonder. Oh. <laughs> I wonder how much more stuff's gonna I think disappear. I built this, but uh, I don't remember being so good at woodworking. Sophie, where did you go? <laughs> okay, so the doors are closing, so we have, like, less places to go. That again. Okay, can't go through there. That door is closed now, too. Um, how far... Can we go over here? Maybe this belonged to one of Sophie's kids. Okay, I can't really go over there either. There's the cans again. Present it to Tyler. Dungeon Master. Dungeon Master! Who's Tyler? Well, it looks like garbage to me. Aw, oh, that's sad. Such fond memories associated with that, and then it's just gone. I... I was a good student. I was. Oh, the music's getting kind of wonky. Oh, I'm old, but not medieval old. Where did... Oh! No, 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 no,
No! Wait! Come back. I, I know I can remember. Just wait. Oh, I just need more time. I... I want to remember. Aw, and that's it. You've reached the end of Spiral's demo. We hope that you have enjoyed it and look forward to discovering more in the future. Thank you for playing. Wow. I I really think they nailed the the feeling. I mean, obviously you can never truly understand what losing your memories is like unless you're going through it yourself. But man, the disorientation and um fear, I guess like because things were getting darker, things were moving around. Um the sudden closing of like the doors, the the music changing, all just gave you like this uneasy feeling as you're like trying to navigate and find more things to interact with. All with like this underlying sadness because he's just gradually, gradually, gradually losing touch with all of his memories. I love that they made him a, a role player and like into D and D and stuff. That was great. I definitely feel bad for Bernard. Poor Bernard. So, as I understand it, by looking at the Kickstarter page for this, this is going to go through four or five different stages of his life. Um, so you get to play as him as like the kid and a teenager and a, a young adult and stuff like that. And also, so you're like traveling. I think the spiral comes into play where you you're walking up the spiral, and then there's like a door up or down the spiral, and there's like a door, and then you go into that, and that's a memory into your past. And so you get to le like learn more about Bernard through that as well. That's what I've understood from what I read in the Kickstarter page. So I'm sure with all that being added in, that'll just make that even more sad when you can tie more of those those memory pieces to parts of the game you've played through. That's what I would assume anyway. But uh, yeah, that was very emotional, <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Short and bittersweet. Um, I think, like, this is, I mean, it's, it's beautiful. It evoked a lot of emotion. Um, I didn't find it difficult to play at Bernard's speed. I thought that was fine. It actually made, like, navigating pretty easy. Um, the only thing ne negative, I would say, is that it's a little bit difficult to rotate the items. I wish you could... I mean, I'm, and I may have just been missing something. I was trying to rotate it with the mouse. Maybe I should have used the, um, WASDA keys instead to rotate stuff. I don't know. Um... So that was a little bit difficult, but otherwise, I love the little memory, faded memories and stuff. Yeah, I think this is, this was pretty neat. This was a neat experience. So thank you to Folklore Games for bringing attention to this. I think you're doing an awesome job so far. And I'm looking forward to seeing what the finished product of this is going to be. If you guys enjoyed this and would like to try out the demo for yourself, I will leave a link to it on Steam down below. And if you would like to support these guys on Kickstarter as well, it's going right now until April 22nd, I believe. And I will have a link to that in the description as well for you guys. But that is it for me today. Thank you very much for joining me for this very short, bittersweet adventure. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, I will see you later.